Hey, this is Matt Pike from High on Fire. You're watching Loudwire. Tony Iommi, you know, um, yeah, kind of laid the groundwork for every metal musician after after Sabbath, you know. And then, like, you know, there's Zeppelin, there's ACDC, and there's Van Halen, there's all that stuff. But, yeah, there's something about Black Sabbath that really laid the groundwork, you know, the blueprints for what we play today. Well, we'll just do the end of the void. This is the first one when I smoked weed for the first time. And I was with this friend of mine, and I just remember hearing, you know. That was like the first like real entrance to like uh, heavy metal <laughs> that, that I wanted. That changed my life, that riff, you know? And then there's a lot of high on fire riffs that, you know, I'll do like. <laughs> right there is based off, you know, Tony Iommi's playing. And, and the whole point is I wasn't trying to imitate Tony Iommi, I'm just trying to like evolve Tony Iommi's playing from back then to, to my own standards or to my own personal, you know, soul and my own music, you know? It's like I learned from him, that's the school of Iommi. I grew up way back, so. I was watching MTV and there's like Van Halen like. And I think that song's in D anyways, but you know, as a kid, I was like doing whatever I could, whatever I could hear, I could try to imitate. Um, I remember when Ingve came out and I was a kid and it's before everybody, you know, made fun. <laughs> Ingve's a great player, you know what I mean? He gets a lot of shit for his ego or whatever, but I remember uh, this thing being one of the... things like that, you know, and I was trying to learn like the harmonic minors. Like oh God, like when I first heard them. <laughs> I've all, I, and that kind of took off as a, like when I started playing in a band and having a drummer who did double bass, you know, and it, you really get the motorhead aspect of things. And uh, yeah, we had that in common, the same kind of same kind of rhythms. Um, <laughs> yeah, who doesn't like Ace of Spades? <laughs>
so much has been an influence on my playing, like Mahavishnu Orchestra, like John McLaughlin, you know, like uh, these crazy chords. He does this with like his thumb like this. I can't do it like that. I just... the first ones I wrote for sleep it's it's called the druid um, and this one I took from Tony Iommi started sleep's career and then from there me and al just started going off on and, and and that was taken um from hole in the sky it's similar it's the same pattern like i said it's the same box even though you know i just kind of made it my own style but that the influence to that was hole in the sky when i first started no one would ever let me do solos or nothing and then um when we went three piece in sleep i they started letting me go off and i was um I was in a jazz improv class in a community college, and I, so I wanted to do my jazz improv stuff, and um, yeah, I just started going off, and a lot of those solos were just like off-the-cuff improv, and then I just went back and relearned them, you know, like the solo from <laughs> the Druid that I just played, you know, like, so. That, yeah, that's Blood from Zion. That one's great too. That that one's really. I've always really loved this song. This one has a weird picking technique. the main riff I sing and then there's like a conclusion there's always like for good riffs there's always like a question and an answer you know and the question usually I sing over the question and then the answer answers what I just said you know and so that's kind of that's kind of the chemistry to that of the blueprint so many of my riffs are centered around the 12th fret like uh god I was gonna do fury whip for you today <laughs> Thank you. 
There's always a conclusion to the 12th fret. <laughs>